If there's one thing us bartenders love, that is our bar tools. And today I'm so excited. I'm like a kid in the sweet shop because today I can finally announce that Drink Stuff, we are starting to sell the Barfly range of bar tools. Now to a lot of bartenders, Barfly will need absolutely no introduction. They are synonymous with quality. They are synonymous with brand and design. They are just one of the go-to brands that every bartender kind of craves. But up until now, we really can't get them in the UK unless we pay stupid shipping fees to get them in from the US. From today, all that changes because drink stuff, I've got a tiny bit of the range here that I'm gonna sort of showcase in an unboxing. But as of today, jump onto the Drink Stuff website and you can hook yourselves up with some quality and fun bar tools. Now, the one thing I'm gonna start off with is I just wanna kind of demonstrate and kind of get across the quality of the bar fly stuff because this is the cocktail shaker. I'll come on to that in a second. That's what I'm really excited about. But I just wanna demonstrate something. So this is a cocktail shaker that I've got here. Pretty standard in the UK. You know, they're, they're cheapest chips. They're brilliant. They do the job perfectly well. But I just wanna demonstrate the quality. So this is me not applying much pressure on there. Can you kind of see the flex that you get off these standard sort of cocktail tins. I say there's nothing wrong with them. They just, they sometimes do allow for sort of slippages in the cocktail tins to break apart. Not often, but they kind of, they do because of that flex there. This is the difference because this is a standard sort of bar fly tin. Let's give you a little close up of that for a start off. Look at all that's kind of etching on there. That's really cool. But for a start, it's just heavier. It's just weightier. But then this is me applying the same pressure. You know, there's, yes, of course there's flex in there, but it's really not the same amount as the, as the tin over there. And that is the difference with bar fly. It's just quality, quality products. Now say so moving, moving on to this tin, you know, this is the tin I've been wanted. I've had my eye on for quite a few months now. I've wanted it, I just wasn't gonna ship it in from the, U from the US because it was just stupid. Um, but I was hoping Drink Stuff would get this in. This is just a beautiful, beautiful cocktail shaker. Weighted, perfectly weighted. Weighted just kind of means you've got that bottom end, a little bit of extra weight on the bottom end. Flare bartenders will get exactly what I mean there. But for the rest of us, when we're speed, kind of speed bartending, if you like, event bartending, you probably do want something weighted because if you're throwing stuff about or moving it really quickly, it just means it kind of, you know, it, it kind of rebounds back there, whereas sometimes you might slip them over there. That's kind of a decent weighted kind of sh cocktail shaker. But this is just stunning. It's perfect, fits together, solid. I, I cannot wait. I think this is mine. I hope this is mine, this one. But I cannot wait to start using this. We've got uh, a cocktail, uh, a jigger here, a stepped jigger, which I absolutely love and adore as well. It's got a little, hopefully you'll get that in a close up as well. It's kind, kind of got that little lip on top, which just means it's going to be perfect for pouring. Again, there's nothing wrong with these, but you kind of do, because of that fat little rim around there, you do kind of get a little bit of spillage. It's not super accurate. Whereas if you've got something that's just kind of lipped, just like that, hopefully you'll pick that up. It's just accurate, less spillage, and really easy to work. Yes, at face value, this is kind of a bigger US one. Uh, so it works in ounces, essentially like, uh, so we've got fifth, uh, half an ounce, ounce, three quarters, uh, one and a half, two ounces on there. But it has got the mills on the back there, so 15, 30, 45, and 60. You know me, I do prefer working in ounces. I don't know, I, I don't take me this, I don't know whether there is um, the UK version in, in 50 mil, but for me, this just wins it hands down anyway, but it's 60 mil. Uh, and just to give you a little close up on the side there, because it is stepped, you can quite easily tell where the 15 mil is, where the 30 mil is, and you can kind of gauge it as well eyeball to get if you want 22 and a half mil or seven and a half mil or, or whatever other increments you can kind of work it out pretty easily it's not lined every kind of five mil like the mezclar but this is just brilliant i can't wait to use this and then just a quick rundown of other cocktail shakers as well in the range just very very quickly these are the same quality you know there's not much flex in them at all not much give they're just properly weighted so we've got the purple range there we've got a red range there as well. I've just got the um, the, bo the Boston part of the tin and the blue range. I've got a funny feeling there might be other colours in there as well. Don't hold me to that, uh, but I've just picked a load out of what's next door before it goes down to HRC. And then this, we come onto this. This is what I'm super excited about as well. I'm, so, I'm excited about the whole stuff to be fair. This is a, a mixing tin. Tin for me has always been better than glass, even though I use glass. Glass is so much easier to get in the UK um, for mixing glass. But obviously tin metal conducts heat better, which means it's gonna go the other way. It's gonna chill cocktails down quicker and easier than glass will. This is a beautiful design there, tiki glass, tiki kind of etchings on there. Cannot wait to use this. Again, proper solid, no flex in it at all really. 
I, I just can't wait to start using that. Then let's showcase some of the tools. I'm just going to get them all over here. Uh, I'll get these all out. I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to take these off the wrappers yet, off the uh, piece of card. I'll show you these in a second. But the one thing I am very, very excited about, we have finally got a swizzle stick in the UK. Finally got a swizzle stick. Look at this. I'm not allowed to take it off the little piece of card, but it's got a little pineapple on the end. Little swizzle stick. You put it in there. I can't demonstrate, but you put it in between there and you just rum cocktails, swizzle cocktails, that is gonna sell like hotcakes. I know it's gonna sell like hotcakes, so I can't wait, can't wait to use that. Let's just put that there. Uh, spoon wise, let's come on to these spoons. First, I've got a selection here of spa spoons. These, are, again, you know, without getting proper geeky about them, where's my teardrop, um, my teardrop bar spoon I use? I absolutely love this, I do. But it is very light, but for me, it's quite well balanced. So, you know, I'm never gonna say a bad word against the teardrop. This is the 30 centimeter one. I don't like the 40 centimeter ones. But I've got a funny feeling these are gonna be even better because they're slightly heavier, but they are perfectly balanced. A lot more balanced than what that is, you know, with the little discs on the end there. So if you're, if you're stirring cocktails, for instance, I've got a funny feeling these are gonna be even better. A lot of you bartenders are gonna be all over that. And that, for me, at the moment, is potentially uh, my favorite. This just feels really, really nice in there. We've got a fly, skull, a pineapple there, bar spoon wise. Uh, these, I've never seen anything like these before, but these are kind of cool. Uh, so this is a bar spoon with strainer end, and it says on the back, bar spoon with a perforated end design for efficient pouring. So you can use that as like a little strainer as well. Uh, brilliant, I've, I say, I've never really seen anything like that before, so I can't wait to start having a play about with them. Uh, and then what's come on to, oh, look at it. I'm not sure whether this has been in shot or not. Get out of my face. We've got these claws, talon. Look at those talons in there, talon uh, ice cube um, or ice tongs. So that's pretty phenomenal. Look at them. We've got other stuff. I've got an atomizer spray here. I won't get that out of the box, but kind of to finish your cocktails off, you can make your own sort of... Um, Co what are we calling them? Cocktail finishes, solutions, bitters, all that kind of stuff. Put them in an atom atomizer spray. Like put some orange notes in there, not orange oil, and spritz that over your top of your Cosmopolitans, for example. We've got uh, some uh, tongs as well. I've got a set of tongs here. The one thing I noticed straight away, these are proper solid compared to these. Uh, so these are going to become a firm favourite with you guys as well. Proper solid uh, peat tong. Let's just call them peat. Proper solid peat tong there. And then just the last thing to kind of show you is these cocktail picks. As I say there's way more in the, um, uh, in the range that we've got here. I've just picked up a small selection, but look at these. I think, I thought there was four. I can't work out what the fourth one was now. It might just be three, um, but you've got different sort of cocktail picks there as well. So that is the Barflow range available now on the Drink Stuff website. Let me know what your favorite tool is, and I can't wait to see photos of you guys using it.